What is up maniacs and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one and in today's video we're going to be showing off more of the platinum gameplay with the stun deck that I've been using. So the goal for these videos is for me to get eventually to diamond and maybe try to get to master. Um, I've been kind of slacking but either way we still are going to grind some more. We're going to be playing more and hopefully I'll be bringing you an update video when I get to diamond and maybe if I get to master, let me know what you guys think. Can I get there or can I not? But if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers and make sure to slap that like button. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below. letting me know your current ranked in season 32 of master duel, because honestly, I've been in platinum trying to get back up to diamond because it's been a long time since I've been there. Uh, the meta was crazy and toxic and I didn't really feel like playing with it. So of course I stayed in gold but I can always climb if I wanted to. So nonetheless, let's hop right into the replays. Alrighty, for the first match, we will be going first. And honestly, it's the best. This thing can win going second, but going first, you set up your board and then you prevent your opponent from playing anything and just hope that they don't have any outs. But it's always good to go first I definitely recommend it if you can. All right, we're gonna start off with Inspector Border. Of course, it got limited to one, so it isn't the greatest, but still super fun. Ooh, and right away, we're gonna guess Ubel, okay? Oh, it's not Ubel, okay, okay. Very interesting, and they hit that Surrender button because they couldn't activate the effect. So I will take that and I'll count that as a win. So let's hop right into the next match. Alrighty, and for the second match, we're going second. Like I said, you can win going second, but it is a little more difficult. So we're going up against a horse deck here. You know, I actually like horse deck. What? Blackwing. Oh, a Blackwing horse deck. Okay. Horse is cool because you could put it into a lot of decks, and most of the time it works. So I very much enjoy it. And actually, I was thinking about making like a horse slash gravekeeper's deck to see how it works. I know. Gravekeeper and King Sarcophagus completely are negated and they don't work together. But if you set up all your stuff first and then play Necro Valley, that might work. Either way, let me know what you guys think I should be playing next. I haven't played playing Gravekeepers in a while, so maybe I'll do that. If enough people say they want to see another great grave Gravekeeper gameplay, I will definitely do that. So if you want to see that, make sure to comment that in the comments. Alrighty. So we're just waiting for our opponent here to set up their board, which it seems like they're getting off pretty easily and they're going in. Setting it up, okay. They're going crazy here. The Fred up, oh no, I already know what's coming next and I hate this. As soon as DP came out, I hated it. And I don't see it much, so I'm grateful for that. But when I do see it, it just brings back old memories. I hate DP with a passion. Holy moly, I hate it. Okay, let's see how we could bait out the win. Oh, with the evenly match? Yes. Okay. Of course, they're going to activate that so they could get it back. They're just going to pop so they could get it back. Okay, that's fine. Fair. They activated it in the graveyard. We're going to activate Inspector Border here. Has turn. So right now it's two. All right, now three. We're gonna macro cosmos here. They're gonna enter battle. Okay, we're gonna life hack here. Okay. They're gonna activate their effect, but what are they doing? Popping, okay. They popped, feels bad. Okay. Ooh, the super poly. They're going to have to get Denier. We're going to Super Poly here. We're going to get the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. I'm super happy that they weren't able to get that DPE again. Oh, man. It was banished, so it, 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 they couldn't get it. We're going to hit for 28. And we're just going to simply pass turn. We've got a Solemn. Potentially, they could come back. Right now, they're playing the old classic when you're scared and can't do anything. Face down defense mode. Alrighty, the Luna. Grab ourselves another Luna. And just enter battle with the Luna. 
Hit him for the 28. Alrighty, and then for our last turn, let's see if they can pull anything off here. The call by. Okay. They just want to give me the stinky finger and then uh, pass turn. Which I will happily just go ahead and enter battle because most of the time I hate when people play. They already got game. Why do you keep playing more cards? Just let me die, please. So we did that for our opponent. So let's hop right into the next match. And for the third match, we go second yet again. And the only way you could really go good is with the even the match. We do start off with the, the shifter here. So let's see if they play into it or if not. We're going up against Tier Limits. Again, another meta deck that I really hated. Tier Limits was extremely annoying. When your opponent plays on your turn, it's like, all right, dude, you already played for like seven minutes by yourself. You're going to play on my turn as well? Quit it. It's annoying. All right, dude. We activated Morganite here. And I got negated, which is perfectly fine because we're going to evenly matched. Okay, sounds good. Activate Luna, get another Luna. Answer bad. Oh wait, no, sorry. We already answered battle. We already answer. We got the Salmon another evenly just to see what happens. They didn't draw anything. Very weird. Very very weird. We're gonna get another Luna on the board. Okay, the heartbeat. Ooh, ah. Feels bad, my dude. Feels bad. We're gonna get ourselves a third Luna. And they hit that surrender button because basically they knew that they were screwed. So I'll take that. But let's hop right into the last match. And for the last match, we will be going first. Finally, we get a chance to go first. Okay, we're going to start off with Pot of Desires because we basically have everything we need in hand. So we're going to banish and draw. Okay, they're going to draw. That's fine. We're not planning on getting anything else. We're going to activate Necro Valley. Set our back row and get our fossil dino on the board let's see what our opponent's got the fisher i got one better macro what are you gonna do now okay send absolutely everything okay wanted interesting they draw the diabell star and they end their turn because they can't special so we're chilling big chilling okay we got another crackdown let's go ahead and get our another Fossil Dyna and attack them with both 2400 and we'll pass the turn. No special summoning. I don't know what they got. What are they playing? Nothing. They're playing absolutely nada. A third Fossil Dyna. Oh, <laughs> they got pissed and just instantly surrendered. So I will definitely take that. Honestly, I enjoyed this deck. It's super fun getting to troll the people in ranked of course we're in platinum two i believe we're trying to get up to diamond so i've shown off the deck list before but nonetheless let's hop right into the deck list and for the deck we have three thunder kings three fossil dina three luna one inspector border one d shifter one pot of desires one pot of extravagance one pot of prosperity three time tearing morganites three necro valleys three super polys two life hacks to two evenly matched, three solid judgments, one some strike, two Draco Utopia, super awesome card, just free negate, two macros, one there could be only one, and three crackdowns for the extra deck. The only card we really need is the Mud Dragons, the Garuras, the Star of Venom Fusion, the Preda Plant, the Draco, and the Ubel Loving Defender. The other ones we don't really need, but we'll go over them anyway. The Chaos Angel. Number 41, Babushka, Zeus, Typhoon, SP Little Knight, and Axis Code Talker. But let me know what you guys think of this deck. Honestly, it's super fun, and I enjoy playing it. And big ups to everybody that supports the channel. I appreciate everybody. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. But I'll catch everybody on the next one. Peace. Peace.